So I made this circuit that I found online um, to convert standard 12 volts, this is 9 volts here, but I'm putting 12 volts into the circuit, uh, into 300 volt DC current. Uh, at first, instead of using this piece here, this is a transistor and a uh, square wave which just pulses on and off like 5 volts, 0 volts, 5 volts, 0 volts to switch uh, to basically short this to ground so an inductor which is what this is stores electrical energy in the form of a magnetic field it's just a coil of wire and when it goes through here it will resist the initial current and it will start building up a magnetic field <clears throat> much like a motor, how a motor works, it will spin once uh, the magnetic field gets built up. Uh, but it also works in the opposite way. Once you turn it off, the magnetic field will have to break down, and, it, and in response to that, it will actually uh, have an outrush of voltage going this way through this diode so it can't come back. And that means that the voltage will spike over here, and it will be stored in the capacitor which preferably should be a capacitor that can handle a very high voltage and you'll have about 300 volts on the output okay so I have like a really ghetto version of that right here this is the uh, I was using a switch before uh, let's see if I can find that switch I was using this switch switching it really quickly and I got up to 30 volts off a 12 volt output here uh, 12 volts but now I am switching it on and off at about a kilohertz that means it's going on and off about a thousand times a second <clears throat> charging this inductor here going through this diode and into the capacitor which <clears throat> has a uh, probes for my multimeter so let's change that to voltage right now we have about 10 volts in the capacitor let me uh, turn our power supply on. <clears throat> now we have 12 volts. Now I'm going to press this button and it's going to switch really fast for about 3 seconds. And that voltage will spike up to about 300. 320 volts off of 12 volt output. Alright, now I'm going to turn this off so I don't short the power supply. And I am going to see if I can do this on camera here. Alright, yep. Didn't short. Okay, I just had to get rid of the charge so I didn't like, kill myself with it. It turned out that I was blowing the fuse because uh, it draws so much current. The fan actually pretty much stops on this heat sink when I do it, so the capacitor has about 2 volts left in it. But that's it for that. Alright, thanks.